hello hello everyone how are you i hope all is well remember as we step out in these streets be very aware of your interactions and the people you meet because in these times even your own family will switch upon you be alert and be prepared so guys this story i'm about to share with you is the perfect example of how you make your bed is how you shall sleep in it and the pain and sorrows of the enablers that never put a stop to it because they benefit from the sweets which really and truly puts them in the category of being equally guilty because they were benefiting so there was a missing post out about two residents of Westmoreland, a brother and a sister. At first, the hope was they will be found soon because the report was basically the next day of them missing. Even though we know, as Jamaicans, once few days pass, we know what to expect sadly you got dirt very soon after that there was a video circulating on social media of the brother and sister with blood all over their clothing laying side and side in a shallow grave with dirt being thrown on them covering their body a debit card was placed on the body of the girl while one of the takeout men was explaining what they had done to deserve such a horrific death. Trust and believe. I think I am past the shock and awe of the crimes that are happening around us in Jamaica. As I see it right now, nothing is impossible and anything can happen to anyone at any time a very important point to also take note of is that these kind of crimes are being done to young people by young people i find that the jamaican youths are taking up criminality from way too early when they should be in school learning something. These two taken out are the Moody's brother and sisters. And the sister has been a part of the cutting and chopping the line long time and was even arrested for being the female gangster in the Kings Valley gang that was on the antique gang trial. And she bust the case in other words she got off the case and she still was arrested again for illegal possession of ammunition and she bust that case again as well you hear them of a saying say I know every day bucket go well it will come back full one day the bottom will drop out because all these charges she been getting off on just shows how our justice system has no teeth and in those times she was in her teen she was a part of the crime producers operating out of west milan so you can imagine every time she go court on a case she get off so you can imagine how she felt invincible but every dog have them two o'clock because what you never realize is that of course gangs and duns exact their own form of justice on their own and their rivals however while the perpetrator was covering the bodies with dirt he said them chop a money from the dog and a go around the dog so them get the information they want out of them before them took their lives so little more them going to them yard 
to get what's theirs because them don't have key and find out where them live already because before them pass them don't tell them say everything they are them yard already so when it does up then going for the money at them yard and in the night them left the place those were the words that the perpetrator was saying while burying the brother and sister shit glock work but anyway listen It would seem he was just sent to do a job and being as them already know that videoing and putting it out there is no fear of getting caught by the authorities because of course them don't look at the authorities as being serious these criminals have no fear because what the justice system has no teeth I wonder every day what Jamaican people are going to do. You no longer can say it is not going to reach your doorstep, you know. Is when it reach your doorstep, what are you going to do? Because as far as I see it, the people in charge of the country can't manage the country. Crime is taking over. We are heading to a state of what? Haiti is in rapidly. So the Moody siblings, the brother Kerrick Moody, he was 20 years old and the sister Kenesha Moody, she was 22 years old. It is confirmed by their mother that them two are the ones that were seen on the video circulating that is shown buried in a shadow grave. And the reason why that was done to them was because of scamming money the siblings mother stephanie edwards said on sunday that her children were involved in scamming yes 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 the voice now said them bingo food and them go around the boss she said so i guess all the time she knew that they were scamming and of course the last time they were seen they were leaving money for her at a cook shop in Granger for her to pick up. So right then and there, obviously, she was benefiting from the scamming. This is the thing. We can't be enablers for our children's wrong. The mother said she has five children and she tried her best to steer them along the right path. She said me grow them up the best way me can and she get herself involved in criminal activity where she not supposed to be involved in her her name all over the news me been talking and talking to try my best to curve them out of it Edward said as in 2021 Kenesha Moody was charged for her involvement in the Kings Valley gang after she was found with rounds of ammunition in her purse at the time ACP Fitzbailey announced that Moody was the alleged girlfriend of the Kings Valley gang leader Derval Williams. Them very secretive, so this are the outcome of it. So because me always a quarrel and me always a talk to them and always a try to get them on the right side and to walk on the right path, me grow them up the best me can, the distraught mother said. She further stated her daughter had landed a job in Black River where she rented a house in Brampton and lived with her brother but she said her daughter is believed to have quit the job. Me surprise when Kenesha get a work at Black River 
I'm a find out say quickly she leave the work. She sit down at home say she had do her own business. They are a set up online, the mother said. The mother said she viewed a viral video circulating on social media of what appeared to be a male and a female with stained up clothes dumped in a shallow grave and a man throwing dirt on them. She soon after identified the bodies as her missing children. She stated, My daughter foot, see him how you see the little foot, her foot them set like her grandmother. And if you look up closer to her leg, she have a little sink. She have a scar right up to her eyesight, she explained. However, the mother is hoping that their bodies will be found and that she will get to bury them. Me they are panda and I wonder, Fissy, if me could have get the two little piece of body for bury to where them do with it, she pleaded. She said despite their lifestyle, she is mourning their loss. Them are my belly pain. I feel all kind of pain. The body numb. But all I have to do is give God thanks for help me go through it. Me just a lean pan Father God, she said. According to the police, 20-year-old Kerry Moody and 22-year-old Kenesha Moody of Grange Hill District, Westmoreland have been missing since Friday, December the 8th. Reports from the police are that about 7.15 a.m. Kerrick and Kenesha were last seen leaving a cook shop in Grange in the parish. The mother continued by saying, It was Sunday in the afternoon, but after two, somebody sent me a picture sent me to look at it as they see it on social media, where them are buried them and my sister at them, she said. She said her children call her on Friday, telling her to pick up $10,000 at a cook shop in Grangeville and that they are going to pick up a package. However, the mother is pleading with the public to assist her in locating where they are buried so she can get their bodies. I would love for these young people looking on on this incident and realize there are no laws or loyalty amongst criminals. This is not the judiciary laws of Jamaica where you can escape even when guilty within the laws of criminal justice among criminals there is no escape they don't even have to have 100 percent surety say are you you just have they must have to get up and have a feeling it look like it seems like and your friends with the enemy are somehow them feel say you're a traitor and you're dirty. Remember amongst criminals, you know. Friends turn on each other, you know. Then can us get up tomorrow morning, you know. And just feel like say, let me get a bad vibes from you, you know. I could have all them stomach and, and them have gas, you know. But them now look at that. Them just feel say you bring on the vibes there. Eh? And them just feel like say them forget rid of you. So joining criminal gangs, meaning that on a walking on thin ice. So I wanna think when I hide from the police and citizens on a can hide from an own criminal entity and friends. They are the ones that are going to take you out. There is no second chances with criminals against criminals. Anyway guys comment what you think about this situation in the comment section and please remember to like comment and subscribe to my platform please love you all bye for now